angry guy here. And why are women furious? Men gave them their wish and are now ignoring them. Why are women furious? Men gave them their wish and are now ignoring them. That is our video topic today. Some of you may have already heard this. Some of you already know the story. However, a woman in Texas evidently got into an argument with a gentleman who was not happy with the way that she spoke to him. She shamed him evidently and he got very upset. And as a result of that, he took action. The action he took was quite undesirable. And as you can see on the screen, she basically said, why is it that there were all these black men around her and none of them did anything to help her? And this resulted in her having to go to the hospital. He jumped in a car and drove off. And she said that they will never find him. And maybe if that's the case, she said all these black men were just standing around and none of them helped her. And she's never done anything in her life to deserve this. But evidently, there are videos, and forgive me if I'm wrong, I've heard there are videos on social media where she basically bad-mouthed black men, bad-mouthed men, said things like, I don't need no man. And now you have men basically giving them their wish. You know, men basically saying, okay, oh, so that's, that's what you wanted? Okay, so we, we got you. I got you. All right? And now they've given them their wish. And if they're leaving them alone. And when men see women needing their assistance, needing their help, men aren't running to rescue them. Men are not going to help them. It doesn't matter if there's danger. It doesn't matter what's happening. Okay? You'll have a bunch of men, and they'll see this happening, and they will not run to the woman's aid. They will not rescue her. You know? No more Captain Seva HOE is here anymore. All right? After M2... After all of these movements, men are done. Men are tired. Men have said, we have left the building. That's why you have the Passport Bro movement right now, which is men walking away from Western society, Western women, going overseas to start new lives with Filipino wives or Latinas or Eastern European white women or whatever, but they are not focusing on, on American women. They're done. They're not focusing on... Women from the UK are not focusing on women from Australia or Canada. They're done with women in Western countries. They're done, they're done, they're done. You have a lot of men going to Africa, white men going to Africa. I talked about this. I called it before everyone else, and it's only going to grow. You have a lot of white men going to Africa right now and finding wives in Africa. All right? This is not a game. This is not a game, all right? You see videos of women in the gym right now, and they're they're lifting weights, and they get tossed by the weights, and they need a man to come and pull it off of them. And these dudes are just sitting there and acting like they didn't see a darn thing. They're like, I didn't see nothing. They just look right through. And the women are, like, laughing, like, what the heck is going on? The guy didn't even help me. He just sat there. And And, and basically, that's how men are thinking right now. Like, yeah, hashtag not me. You know, hashtag not me. Because men are tired. Men are absolutely tired. In the society we live in today, unless you're an absolute Chad, you know, you're you're pretty much all, almost always at risk. You know, and men are, and men don't men are doing it anymore. Okay? Men are not helping. They're not holding doors anymore. They're not asking women out on dates anymore. They're not getting married anymore. They're not working the long hours anymore unless they're banking their money so they can get out of the country. Everything a man does now, he's doing for himself. And if you notice, a lot of the women today, they can no longer pair bond. They can no longer pair bond with men. They can, because every guy you know, is just not good enough and there's always someone better for them. All of these women, 
You know, most of these women now, they want millionaires and billionaires. Granted, many of them don't even make $50,000 a year. Okay? And if you look at what's happening with, with OF, you have a ton of women who are basically saying that they won't give up OF for their life. All right? They're going to do OF, and it's respectable. And any guy that doesn't like that a woman does OF or has a high body count is insecure and doesn't want an actual woman because an actual woman has a body count. An actual woman does OF. And if men don't want women like that, then they don't want women. They want children. So what does that make them? This is what they're saying now. So when men hear, hear this, they're like, okay, yeah, I'm definitely done. I'm not risking my wealth. I'm not risking my happiness. I'm not risking my sanity for any of this. For years, we talked about it. Women would say, where have all the good men gone? Now they're saying, where have all the men gone? They're saying, guys are no longer approaching me. When I go out, guys are not talking to me anymore. You know, you see a video from a woman who's like, I'm going to go out tonight. I'm going to get, I'm getting dressed up. I got dressed up. I'm going to go out and not a single guy is going to approach me. Not a single guy is going to talk to me. You know, women got exactly what they wanted. So why are women furious? Men gave them their wish and are now ignoring them. They are furious because they lived in a society where everything was handed to them. There was an unspoken contract. All right. That men would protect women from the bad people. And the bad people were not just men. There are bad women in society and there are bad men in society. There are bad people in society. And whenever a woman is in danger, men will step in and protect her. Be it from bad people or a natural disaster like an earthquake or a hurricane where all the property gets damaged. And let's say there's a flood or people are trapped or a building collapsed, whatever. There was an unspoken agreement that when things go wrong, men will step up. It's not happening anymore. It's not happening anymore. Men are tired. Men are dud. Men, men, a lot of guys say they're not furious. But that's crap. A lot of guys say that, say that, you know, oh, they still love these women. That That's crap. That's crap. Okay? Any man in his right mind would not be saying that I love my oppressor. All right? No man in their right mind would say, I still love them and I still and I still and I miss them, but I just can't do it anymore. Why the heck do you love them? Why would you miss them? Because if you miss these people, then that suggests that you're a toxic person yourself. But you just couldn't be around them anymore because they became too much of a haphazard for even you. I'm just being honest about that. Because there is no man right now that should be saying, oh, I miss him. I miss him. I, I miss him so much. And by the way, guys, if you're enjoying my content, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications and never miss another video again. And like the video because it tells YouTube you're enjoying the content. You want to see more of it. So YouTube will show you more of the content. And how incredible is that? Isn't that incredible? I say, I've said this once, and I'll say it again. Many of you will note this. Nothing lasts forever. And this is why women are furious. Because now their privilege is eroding. 
and it will soon be gone. Because the guys that are in their Insta, in their DMs, the guys that are paying them, giving them money on, on OF, these guys don't respect them, okay? These are the most desperate, thirsty people you'll ever meet, all right? These women are trading in their value for a couple of dollars. And sure, it adds up. But what they've done is they've, they've traded their futures for instant gratification in the present. And they don't comprehend any of this. If you look at what happened with public assistance, women who took public assistance and they put their men out of the house, they ended up becoming trapped in a cycle, endless cycle of poverty that became intergenerational. If they had kept the men and struggled, they wouldn't have to live in public housing. They'd be living in houses. They would have more stability and they'd have a lot more wealth. Because people who live in public housing typically don't have a lot of wealth because they're trying to live off benefits. And you know how the government works. They give you just enough to survive, but not enough to thrive. And then the children that these women release into the world grew up without a father, without a father in the home. So they had no structure. They didn't learn how to regulate their emotions because a child learns that from their fathers. They never felt safe. So they went to the streets looking for someone, anyone to show them the love that they never got at home. That masculine energy. And where did they find it? They often found it from toxic people. From people who did bad things. But they didn't care. I don't know if you guys remember the song. From Tupac, there's a line I saw. There's a line in one of Tupac's songs where he talks about gangs, and he basically says, he said, even though they sold drugs, they knew how to show a young brother love, something along the lines of that. And forgive me if I butchered it, let's call that a paraphrase. Regardless, that's what ends up happening to a lot of these young men and even young women, because they go looking for love from toxic people people, toxic individuals, toxic men, men who are not actually masculine, all right? But they mistake it for masculinity because they've never been around real male energy. And they're so desperate for that that they end up going out and finding these people who are no good for them. And that's what you're going to see happening with OF. All of these women who've done OF now, saying things like they're going to keep doing it until they're 60 years old. It's given them so much freedom and confidence. They're going to pay the consequences for it later on because the internet is forever. And it's going to be a very cold winter. There's no coming back from this. As I said earlier in the video, these women that are on these platforms, like OF, they sold their futures for instant gratification in the present, and they are going to face the consequences of this. The irony is that when they do face these consequences, the same women that were saying that this is empowering for them. They're going to turn around and blame all of the men who subscribed to them and were paying them. And they're going to say, if men weren't, weren't there buying our content, then we never would have been selling it. Because if they weren't buyers, then they wouldn't be sellers. So don't blame us. We're victims of the men. This is the argument that they always use.
Why are women furious? Men gave them their wish and are now ignoring them. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. You already know what I think, but I want to hear what you think. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away. And cheers.